Okay, Dad. Welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today, David's working on, well, the master rum again after a long break. Ah! I didn't just find it. Oh well. Okay, so. This is the patient wall right here. Okay. As you can see, we've got these still up but then under technicality then we were taking the wall down these all went ah, I'm coming down I'm falling off okay so you're probably wondering what to do about this okay under technicality that I didn't think that I here's what I think of nails Okay, that was with my hand. Seriously, that was just with my hand, with about as much effort as I put into holding a camera. No joke. I mean, what do nails exist? So here's my answer. These are I, I like to call these guys uh, masonry anchor screws type deal. Okay, actually what they're called at Lowe's is Home Depot, depending where you go, they're actually called concrete anchor screws. Okay, so basically what you do is, okay, I should have thought to leave this out because that last good There we go. They come with this bit here. But actually if you look at it, the bit's just big enough for the threads to pass the to basically hold the screw in. Well, to me that's not good enough. So what I do is actually go a little, one bit smaller, that way you actually have some of the screw pushing into the sides of the concrete. So to basically hang these up, you'll need a bit to go into the concrete block. You'll need a bit to drill the hole in the wood. And then because you want the screw head, because you're gonna be putting pounds over the walls, so you're gonna want the screw head recessed, you're then going to need a paddle bit on top of that. So basically, to hang those up, you got to drill a hole, drill a hole, then put a little pole. <laughs> yeah, and if you, and figuring you're probably the average person that's only got one drill. No comment on that one. We do have more than one drill. No comment on it. But right now the other drill is unavailable. Okay. By no fault of mine. I'm not commenting on it. I'm not saying anything because, quite frankly, I'm not, I'm not going there. All right. <coughs> so basically. Oh, all right. And also for the existing ones here, basically what you got to do is your total thickness that you're going to make those. You got to basically figure that thickness out. And then get Which a board. These for. And then get a board to go on top. What fun is it, isn't it? Okay. Now, of course, you do have the option if you want to go there to basically just pull all, all of them down. I decided we decided not to to save some work. Which actually is easier. It's actually easier because you just get a buttload of those. Which those are always yeah. useful. They're always useful. I think we got extras of those. You don't have extras of them. Yeah, actually, I don't think you got enough. Tell how many you told me to get I know. one. I know, because I just realized that as I was going up and down, we're also going to have to go across here, and across the top, and across that top, and across here as well. 
Okay, so I'm going to do a demonstration on putting a putting one of these on top, and then I'm going to. Don't break it. Don't lean them. Lay them down. Okay. I'm going to do I'm going to do this one so you can see basically what you're going to be doing. How to this one. So basically uh, this one. Just so you know, when you're dealing with small bits, if you're not careful, you will break the bit. This is no joke. You can't actually break your bit if you're not careful. All right? Which is why I'm being so meticulous on actually positioning the drill bit, making sure it's absolutely perfect. I should not one time when I started using power tools, starting out way long ago, I actually broke 20 small bits one time in the wall for various reasons. Such as I had this bit center, I the board actually fell down, ripped the bit, I tried to pull the bit out, breaking the bit. It's just a very Long, long, slow things that can actually break through. So yeah, be careful with that. You have various methods you can actually do this. You can actually, you know, measure. You can mark. You can, you know, this. so many ways you can actually approach this. Me, I'm just gonna basically set the board next to where I'm gonna go for it, and then. thing yes rotary hammers do actually make putting holes in blocks a thousand times easier we also have one of them which is currently unavailable or again no comment Bits out of your tool. If this is your first time using a tool. If you're taking the bit out. Be careful, the bit may be hot. Nine times out of ten, it is. Yeah, it's supposed to be my drills. <laughs> I've never had one that's not hot. are made for actually. Just so you know, that's what drills are made for. Putting holes in wood. That's what they exist for, that's what they're breathed for, that's their whole purpose of being. Putting holes, different size holes in wood. He will be eventually insulating the wall, framing in the windows, all that stuff over here. But first, Just so you know, that was a paddle head. That's what I call a paddle head. Choose to spank wood. <laughs> But he's gonna put more than one screw in the board. I guess he's doing one right now. I'm doing one for a demonstration because you don't really want to sit here and watch me go nope. do every single one. Nope. Like, I even don't want to watch me do that. Oh, a bit popped out of the head. 
All right, I think I got the whole, I think I got the bit just a little, little, too tight. Too tight. All right, I think I got the whole, I think I got the bit just a little, little, too tight. These go to a bigger bit. Yeah, use, for the actual block. Use the one it came with? Yeah, we're gonna have to try that. He's gonna use the one it came with, people. He's changed his mind. Well, in fairness, you still wanna go a hair smaller. The problem is getting exactly the right size bit. It's really, really hard. In fact, when uh, I did this earlier, I actually got nine bits. And actually, all, all, all I actually had to do was go a different brand of this bit, and then I had the exact size I wanted. Part of the problem is that actually I have this whole just a hair, I mean, literally just a hair off. There you go, perfect. Okay, now this is why I use the anchor screws. Do you remember what I did up there? Good. David, don't hurt your back. That's one screw. Yep. I wouldn't be putting one here. Like I said, I have hit her off. It's too. You should have had the board higher, and, David. And one down here, okay? David, you should have the board higher. I know, but I'm going to do this. Make sure you have the board high enough. There's no reason not to because yeah. that board, I got eight feet and this wall is eight feet. Now you don't have to screw that in. Like I said, that's one screw, and I can't pull this board down. So anybody that tells you use use nails, show them show them this video that I tried to pull this down with that screw in it. And then this see if they got a rebuttal. We're doing this for all eternity. Because in my opinion. In my opinion, if you're gonna do it, just, just overdo it. That way, that way, you can sit there when you're old man with your hair that goes all the way down to your ankles, and your in your room is still there. D don't do it so that way when you move it, the whole thing falls apart on you. That's what nails are to me. Basically, you move it, the whole thing just falls apart. We've seen that happen. Okay. All right. So there you go. That's how you put one of these screws in. Now, if you wanna. Uh, I want to show you another method of doing it, one that I actually prefer to do. So I'm going to do another board. Watch out for the ceiling. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. I go to the trouble of actually doing the ceiling, you know, mudding it and sanding it. And, and you think you think you're going to actually on purpose put a hole in it with the board? <laughs> no, I was thinking of a scratch. Touch up paint. I didn't want to have to do it. We just did it. Well, you probably want to do it. I'm probably going to scratch them. Actually, that near, but you know what? N never mind. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I'm off the camera. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you're actually doing this, do yourself a favor. Get two friends, and if it's a remodel, why don't you just hammer that in? It's a remodel. Actually, I got a nail that actually wants to stay. I'll be. <laughs> you just broke the hammer, David. Well, in fairness, it was a cheap hammer. That was your baby hammer. Why didn't you get a bigger one? Yeah, I know. I should I should have got the renegade out. <sighs> Where is the renegade? Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> I'm filming, I can't go in. Yeah, I know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay, so basically, as an alternative method of doing it, you basically, you, uh, if you're actually gonna be anal about everything, use a level, just so you know. Wait a minute. This is the width. Where's the width of R19? Actually, this is, I'm not worried about the width of R19 because you can actually set up a side. That's true. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about it, okay? So basically you 
Put your board in place. Why don't you just put it next to the window? I'm gonna go ahead and do the one next to the window first. Okay. We got plumbing down there, so. So basically, make sure before you start handling your board, you free swap your board. Okay? Instead of being like me. Uh, which? It's this one. Okay. I don't know how you plan on framing in the windows. I'll figure it out. I always do. So basically, you. This is really took care of the submission first. Okay, you basically you then. Zippy do die your hole. Okay, zippy do die your hole in your wood. And then you pull out your uh your your crackle pop a bit. That's gonna be better the way you're doing it. Okay, I'm showing both ways. That's why I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, there you go. You got your you got your mark. You get you get yourself a good footing. Uh, apply your weight into into the into the drill. Okay. You got your zippy do that. You got your crackle and your pop. Okay, and, and then now, and then now you get out your head. If you get these references, put them in the comments where they're from. All right. There's your. Okay. You got your head. You got your snap. You got your crackle. You got your pop. All right. And then you put in your uh, your screwing. And, and, and then you get out blue. Push blue in. We like blue. You put your uh, you put your board back in place. Okay, that's your alternative way of doing it. Okay, that's your two ways of doing this. There you go. All right, now, now I want to tell you basically in general. Where you, where you want them at, how you want them up, okay? Okay, basically you take your insulation, you take your width of insulation, and then you figure out your pattern where you need them at, okay? Because the, the little, because you see, over here the insulation, you fold these out, fold that one out, and then you staple it. It's basically where, where your boards go, okay? So basically figure it out. They basically go line, 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 all that good stuff. And then for your windows, you want them, you want them like across here and across here, okay? And then you want them down. And then, then you figure out, you know, like your wiring. If your wiring needs any extra little, little support, like like this bit here, you put them there. And then basically that's it. That's that's what you do. I'm not going to bore you with it. Watch me do them all, okay? There, there's two examples, all right? Now I'm gonna do one more for one. You actually have the board up already. That, that way you, you see both. Of them. both A little both note. Where they go. None of the three other walls need any added supports, so we only have to do one window, one wall. But apparently we have to get fast ones. Hmm. The board slip that we want to have to get. We want to get special, special screws. That or I might just. If I have enough loose because I might just loose from out, I'll, I'll figure it out after I get this, get these taken care of. Okay. All right. Now, basically, when it's already up and you already have a screw in, the board's going to stay. So basically, you can have two choices. You can either hold your drill or you can brace on the wall. Your choice. So basically, the Gold Ranger. Black Ranger. That's 
actually another reason why you want the one that you're going to screw your hole, going to drill your hole, going to put drill the hole through the board to be slightly wider than the screw, but then too small for the screw head that you're using. That way, when you go to do your masonry bit, you don't have to rub up to the wood. That's a smell you really don't want. And then that's your grate. And then you take your blue, your blue ranger, put it in there. And then you, and you throw it on that sucker down. There you have it. That's how you do it if you get your board already up. There you go. That's, that's how you put these up. And you put boards up and you go board sideways if need be. Well, we don't have to do side boards. We, we, because I'm using We these, don't have to do side I'm doing these, I don't have to do the boards this way. That, that's, that, that's unnecessary because these screws will, basically for these screws to, just so you know, for these screws to fail, that's gotta fail. <laughs> We don't have to do it sideways because of the insulation we're doing. He's got to cut the insulation there, there. There you have it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. We read your comments. If you've got other suggestions for, you know, whatever's, alter methods of doing stuff, just say so. Uh, as always, measure twice or three times cut once. These boards, I don't really have to measure because the windows alone said everything to me. So, thanks for watching. Add, uh, check out the Patreon page in the description. We'll see you when all the boards are up. Bye.